Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here with a related rates example video involving volume in a cylinder. So we've got water being drained out of a cylindrical tank, and the cylindrical tank has a radius of 12 inches. The height of the remaining liquid in the tank is decreasing, so this water level is dropping by 3 inches per minute, and we want to know how quickly is the water being drained out of the tank, at what rate are we draining out of the tank. So think about what we have. We have a cylinder here. We've got liquid in the tank, so we have height changing, you'll notice, and we want to know how quickly is water being drained. In other words, at what rate is the volume being drained out? So in order to solve this problem, we want an equation that relates volume and height. And that for a cylinder is going to be that volume equals the base times the height. Remember the base is a circle, so this will be pi r squared times the height. So v equals pi r squared h. And before we start writing down anything, we just want to make a note of what things are changing over time. So think about as water is being drained, the volume is changing with respect to time, so v is a function of t. Also, the height in the tank will be changing over time, so h is going to be a function of t. But you'll notice that we're not changing the size of the tank, right? The tank is a consistent radius of 12 inches throughout the problem. So we'll say here that v is a function of t and h is a function of t, but we're going to treat r as a constant because it is 12 inches and does not change as we do this. If we read through this and say the water is being drained out of the tank with a radius of 12 inches, then we know that r is equal to 12 inches, so we'll go ahead and write that down to start with. The rest of the problem says we want to find dv dt because it says how quickly is the water being drained and that has something to do with the change in volume. If dh dt is equal to negative 3 inches per minute, and let's talk about how we know that. We know that the height of the remaining liquid is changing, so that's dh dt, and it's decreasing by 3 inches per minute. So the rate of change should be a negative 3 inches per minute because it's decreasing. So we know that r is 12 inches, and we want to solve dv dt when dh dt is equal to negative 3 inches per minute. So let's go ahead and differentiate our equation over here that relates volume and height with respect to time. So we'll take derivative with respect to time of this equation. Derivative of v on the left side will give us dv dt. Now remember pi and r squared, these are all constants because r is a constant and pi is also a constant always. So when we take the derivative of pi r squared h, we will get pi r squared, but the chain rule says times the derivative of h will give us times dh dt. So this is our derivative of this formula with respect to time. I want to solve dv dt so I can leave this in the equation. So I look, do I have all of the other things that I need? Do I have r? Yes, I have r because r is a constant, right? So I have 12 inches can go in for r and we'll square that. dh dt, we know exactly what we want to use for dh dt because we have it over here. We want to solve dv dt when dh dt is negative 3 inches per minute. So we have both of those things and we should just be able to plug in and get dv dt in this example. So if we plug those things in, we'll get dv dt is equal to pi times 12 inches squared times negative 3 inches per minute. So you'll notice we have inches and we have squared, so I actually get inches squared here, but I have another inches here. So we're going to actually get units of inches cubed on the top. And we square our 12, we get 144 times 3, we'll get negative 432. Obviously we're going to get negative because we have a negative 3 here. So how quickly is the water being drained out of the tank? It's being drained out of the tank at a rate of 432 pi cubic inches per minute. Okay, we also have some example videos involving distance and volume of a cone. Check those out. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.